Elizabeth. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we have another Fitville shoe collaboration, but this time they sent me three pairs of shoes to kind of try on and give you my opinion. Um, so Fitville is a shoe company. I will put their website down below in case you want to check them out. They offer a variety of shoes, men's, women's. Um, they have some styles for office wear, so like flats. Um, they also have running shoes. They have some more fashion forward um, sneakers. So I have a little bit of each to show you today. If you wanted to watch my other Fitville PR video, I will link that up here. There's just one pair of shoes in there, but they are the most comfortable pair of shoes I've ever worn. So full disclosure with these, I haven't even tried these on yet. Um, I just got all of them in the mail, waited until they all came here, and then now I'm going to give you my first look opinion of them. But that other pair from the video I linked up there, I do wear them probably once to twice a week. They're a very versatile office shoe, and for being a pointed toe shoe, they don't hurt my feet at all. So just keep that in mind. Um, so with that, let's dive in. While I open these up, I just want to say thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video. It means the world to me. If you like this one, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of me, feel free to hit subscribe. Also, on their website, if you do use the code LZARD22, you'll get 22% off your order. I will put that right here because it's lizard without the eye. So there you go. All right. The first shoe that I'm going to open is the Fitville Queenly V1 flat. I will pop a photo right here for you and they are $49. Now <clears throat> I specifically picked these shoes because of how comfortable the other pair that I have are. So these are very similar to the other pair of shoes that I got from Fitville. <clears throat> Fitville, excuse me. They're just in a different color and they don't have the bow. So this is that shoe. The other shoe that I had was a black shoe. This one I opted more for the nude color. And you can see if you look at the sole of the shoe, it, it is a very cushy sole. These are a very comfortable shoe. Very nice. And they're like a knit, knit pattern on them. Super cute. I'm happy for these. I did get a size six in these shoes. Size six is what I typically wear for shoes. So the next pair that I got were the Fitville Casual Zebra V1 and they are $54.94. So these ones um, I thought were super cute. They also have a slide on version of this shoe. Let me get all the stuff out of the shoe. This is the shoe. It's got a chunky, chunky heel or what do you call it? Sole, I guess. They also have a slip on version. It looks identical to this, but it's a slide on. And it they also have one that comes in white. I wanted the white, but they've been sold out for so long. The other thing with this shoe is they don't make them in a size six or a size six and a half. So I got a size seven. I'm hoping that's gonna fit me. Super cute. What I like is the fringe detailing on all of this. These are very, very in. And I'm eager to try out the sole of this shoe too and see if it's incredibly comfortable like the others. Um, the bottom is just basic. Super cute. Worst case scenario, these are a little bit big on me and I will give them to my sister because I know she would also really like this shoe and she's got a slightly larger foot than I do. Uh, but I'm hoping they fit because I really like these. All right, and then the last pair that I got were more of an athletic shoe. Um, so I've been doing a little bit more biking, a little bit more walking outside, and I've just kind of found the shoes that I have aren't super comfortable. And like I said, with these ones, the sole, the lining of the shoe is incredibly comforting. It's like walking on a cloud. I really like it. So my hope with these was that they will also be that way. So these are the Fitville Fresh Core FC White 45W. They come in men's and women's sizes, so it is a unisex shoe. And I got a size six in this one as well. And they are $84, which I feel like is on point for your average like athletic shoe. So 
not overly expensive. So this is what that shoe looks like. It does have more of a thicker sole than your regular old athletic shoe. I don't know why my lighting is not being friendly to this shoe right now. There we go. And then the bottom looks like that. Super cute. It is like a knit on here, so very breathable. My light does not like the white shoe. <laughs> I apologize for that. Um, so with that, we are gonna move into a try on little video thing. I do have just jeans on, so I'm just gonna try these on with my good old jeans, those other sneakers with my good old jeans. Uh, then I'm gonna rip my socks off and pop those uh, flats on, so. So here is that white athletic shoe. Jeans and athletic shoes is not my, not my vibe as far as clothing pairing go but these are those shoes. They are actually really comfortable in the sole. They have nice arch to it. Um, and I feel like they look like your average athletic shoe. So super nice. They do have a stretchy, um, stretchy piece right here. I'm not quite sure what that's for, um, but they tie up really well and they look nice and they're comfortable. So I will definitely use these for my athletic needs. Here is that other sneaker, the more casual um, sneaker. And I was right, a seven is too big. I can walk around in these and they're not gonna fall off because I tied them tighter. But I worry about with the size difference, like tripping over them because this is not normal shoe size that I wear. They are really comfortable though. Like the sole is just as squishy as in the flat shoes. Um, and they're cute. I wish they had my size. So up close, excuse my pink socks, but they're super cute. I actually really enjoy these. I like the thick sole on them. I feel like these are a shoe that are super in right now. Like somebody would really like these. Um, just a bummer that they don't fit and I'm gonna have to give them to my sister. And here is the final pair of shoes. So these are those flats and they are incredibly comfortable. As I mentioned with the other pair, the sole is very squishy and even though it's a pointed toe shoe, I think the flexibility in the fabric makes them comfortable because my toes don't feel like they're going like this. Um, super cute shoe. And here is what the inside looks like. So it's got, I don't think that the other pair of shoes that I have, the black ones, have this like bumping in here, but they definitely have this. This is what makes them super comfortable. So this is an amazing shoe. I'm super happy, happy for the shoe. I want this in every color. <laughs> Let's wrap it up. We got the pair of flats, super cute. I love the fabric. They're stretchy, they're super comfortable. Like I said, I want these in every single color. And then we got the athletic sneaker, this pair, super comfortable. Um, I wouldn't necessarily run in these just cause it's a little bit heavier of a shoe, um, but great for walking, great for any other athletic thing, biking, playing sports, great shoe. And then finally we got the more casual sneaker, the black pair. These I was super bummed about. I wish that they came in my size. It wasn't even like they were sold out. They just don't come in a size six or even a six and a half. These did fit where if I walked around my house, they wouldn't fall off because I had them tied so tight, but I would be a little bit leery of wearing them in public just because the length difference, I would worry that I would trip. Um, but my sister will actually really like these and I will give them to her and they're super cute. If you like these shoes, make sure you check out the option where they are a slip-on. Um, those were super cute. Um, I kind of wanted those, but they look identical to this, just a slide-on. So with that, I'll see you guys next time.